Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and it is a Tuesday, so you regulars know what that means. There's a 50-50 chance you are getting free stuff from Epic Games today, and good luck for you today, because you are. What we're looking at here in front of you, this is one of the three free assets you're getting this month. This one is a little bit strange in the way that it's configured. It is a nice, high-quality asset. Let me just go into uh, game mode here, so you get an idea of what we're talking about. This here is the Magician's Library Environment and VFX Pack. It's actually one of those ones I'm going to have to run, so you can get an idea of exactly what it's all about, but it's basically this library setting. Now, the weird thing about the way this guy is set up is, I'll get back to this one in a second, we've got this doorway that doesn't open, and then we've got over here, we've got this big, huge world. This is actually set up as a world partition that you have to load in, but oddly enough, all that's in it is this library over here. And then on top of that, uh, this is a create a project instead of an add to project. So you actually have to create this to your project and then export over. Seems like a very strange choice, but here we are actually running the environment. You can get an idea of some of the capabilities here. So we got these configurable crystals. You'll see a number of them around the room. Those are all driven by blueprints. Uh, same time, uh, we have maps. You see how it zoomed in and looked on that. So the blueprint for that is available. And then at the same time, we have this book. Same thing, so you can zoom in on it like so. And then we go back pages and we can leave that page and you can configure the book as you wish. That is also blueprint driven. So a nice huge asset for the most part, it's just set up really, really strange. By the way, if you want to uh, get these out into other game engines, that is quite possible. For example, there is the Unreal to Godot plugin. Uh, there are a number of free ways to do it as well. There will be guides down below. So if you're using Godot or Unity or whatever, and these assets aren't necessarily for your game engine, uh, then you can uh, export them that way. Oh, I forgot to show one other thing. Let's load that back up quickly. Uh, our door that isn't a door. So let's go over here, walk over to our door. This is another one of the blueprints they've got. And then boom, you get that uh, magical doorway open effect like so, like there. So that is another aspect of this particular asset. So a nice high quality asset. Um, I'm fairly impressed with that one. The next one is uh, much more uh, straightforward. The thing that's gonna impressive is this actually isn't the biggest asset, this giveaway. There's one more coming up. This one is the smallest asset by far. This is the uh, Loot Set Hand Painted Series. So if you need loot for your game, loot seems to imply gold, riches, emeralds, coins, and so on, but also a lot of food. So we got fish. Uh, we've got cake and sausage links and bananas and gold and po um, potions and that kind of stuff. So we got kind of an overview of all the various different things over here. Now, this one is available for Unity, uh, Unreal Engine, and UEFN out of the box. So if you want to download directly as a Unity asset, you can do so there. So pretty straightforward asset there. A bunch of uh, hand-painted style, lootable items, a lot of foodstuffs, etc. So... Again, a pretty straightforward asset. And the next one we've got here is the biggest asset. And this one is called the Space Cruiser Defender. And I'm going to go ahead and load the, uh, the main ship. Then we'll look at the overview in just a second. So this is a spaceship. As you see, everything that we're dealing with over here, this is your spaceship environment. Uh, it is gigantic. So you see here, you've got uh, turrets and so on. Uh, you even have other spaceships, which in my opinion, this looks like a mashup of the uh, Star Fury from Babylon 5 and the Hammerhead from Space Above and Beyond, which are two really classic, also awesome ships. So I'm not going to complain about either of them. We've got some uh, guns going on at the front here for this guy. And then we can go over here and let's go take a look. So here we have the hangar bay. Like, zoom. So here you can see some ships being handled. Uh, you got various different uh, pieces and such make up this environment. We got a little work area over here. But if I go back out over here and we go up a little bit, you'll find we have the bridge environment, which is right here. So we've got this uh, cool screens. We've got very uh, Star Trek-esque control panels and so on. And then if we move into the, the ship proper, you're going to find you've got a number of different, like some meeting areas. And then we've got some lounge areas. So the ship uh, treats its crew well. So over here, we've got a bar, <laughs> including beer taps and so on. Uh, somewhere there is an espresso machine, and then if we go up to the top deck, uh, there's actually sleeping berths for everybody as well, and then we've got a medical area. So this ship is gigantic in terms of what you are getting with it. So there is uh, a ton going on here, and then again, if I go down uh, here, I think we're in the, oh no, we're in the engine room now. So it just gives you an idea of just how much composed this ship and then somewhere there's also a sleeping area, sleeping decks. Here we go. So then we've got sleeping areas as well. 
for the crew bunks. So it is a pretty massive asset. Let's just take a quick look at the overview for it, get an idea of just how much stuff you're getting. So the interiors of the ship were entirely module. You could create them however you wish. We got a variety of different things to populate it with, including a space espresso machine, the Nova Affi. So um, yeah, it's a very comprehensive ship in terms of what you're getting. And then we've got those uh, different spaceship designs that we saw on the outside and in the hangar bay. And then we have our ship itself, which is made up of various different pieces. So you see the engines over here, the missiles over here, uh, the, the nose over here. Uh, and then we've got kind of a, an upward assembly part over here. So uh, it is to a degree modular as well. You can configure the ship in a couple of different ways. And then of course you can populate the interior with everything that you see over here. So uh, it's two really large assets for this particular uh, month, I would say. So a quick overview of what you're getting. You're getting the Magician's Library. Uh, this one is a create a project project, by the way. And then this one also has several different blueprints in it. So you've got the book generator, the VFX with crystal dynamics, uh, Niagara effects, uh, hidden door with dissolved material function, interactive book with flipping animation, interactive painting, lighting props, poison potion, uh, and so on. So nice solid asset there. You will have a choice between personal and professional. As far as I can tell, this only really matters if you were buying it yourself, but since someone else is buying it for you, you might as well get the professional version. So if your revenue situation changes in the future, you've already air quotes bought it at the higher price or at the higher quality version, not quality, uh, but higher threshold income threshold version. So uh, I would recommend personally going for the professional, especially in this case, you do not want to get the, the reference only get the professional here. I don't know why they actually offer multiple. I think it's probably a limitation of fab itself, but we've got the loot set hand painted series. And then finally, we've got the space cruiser defender, a gigantic asset of a number of different things. So again, sick bay, main deck, conference room, cabin cruise, shuttle, cargo, engine room, bar, plus of course, some other ships as well uh, to make up your environment. A, a Good quality asset, in my opinion. I think this week, or by week, uh, has a ton of nice assets in it personally, but I'm curious what you think. So by the way, this one runs from March the 25th until April the 8th. So April the 8th will be your last day to get this one. As long as you've purchased it, air quotes, for $0, uh, it will be yours to keep forever. Also, if you're looking at getting these into other engines, do be sure to check the guides available down below. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.